Hey guys, today is Thursday, October 13th, and this week's theme is to talk about five items that are important to you or just have fun stories to them. So let's do that. My first item is a brick. Like this, it's not a real brick, it's just squishy. Basically me and one of my group of friends, we have this inside joke where anytime we're like frustrated or confused or just really excited about something, we go bricks everywhere or there are bricks everywhere and they're piling up or we'll just say bricks and I don't know, it became a huge thing for us. And this summer, my friend had her 16th birthday party. It wasn't anything big, it was just at her house. And um, one of the party favorites she had were bricks. We all got a bunch of bricks. I have like three of them. I keep one at home and two at school. So anytime one of my friends says bricks everywhere, I pull one out of my purse and I'm like, here. So it's funny. We all, we all started cracking up when she gave these to us at her party. Okay, the next things I have probably make you guys think that I auditioned for American Idol. Um, no, I did not audition for American Idol, though I kind of got to, in a way. In Disney's Hollywood Studios, they have this attraction called the American Idol Experience, where if you are 14 or older, you can go audition, and it's like a mock American Idol. So when I was 14, I went and auditioned. It was like the first year the thing opened up, and I got into the show, and it was really awesome. There is a picture of me performing in Hollywood Studios. These are all the stuff I got. Like, I had to wear this number when I was auditioning, and then when I got through when I knew I was going to be in the show, I got to wear this thing before the show, so anyone who saw me walking around the park that was going to my show, they'd be like, oh, I saw that girl, I'm going to vote for her. And then I got this pin saying that I auditioned for the American Idol experience, and then this blue thing just has, um, like, where I was supposed to go, um, and what time, and where to meet, and whatever, and I'd show you the front, but it has my last name on it, so I'm not going to show you. But yeah, that was a huge experience for me, it was like, the, probably the biggest audience I ever performed in front of and it was so much fun because the stage was like the American Idol stage and it was, it was just awesome especially for someone like me who wants to be a singer it was just amazing. The next thing I have is this so random lanyard. Now this isn't just like fan merchandise that I bought at like the Disney store or something I actually got this from uh, the so random studio. Um, this summer I went to California with my family and we went to a live taping of So Random. Uh, two summers ago, me and my friends were in New York City and we happened to meet Alice and Ashley Arm, who was one of the actors from Sunny with a Chance at that time and now So Random. And we talked to her and her dad had ended up telling us, oh, if you guys are ever in California, let us know, we'll get you tickets to a taping. So I took them up on that offer. I d DM'd Allison on Twitter and she got us in. And this is like my memory of that show. Um, it was a lot of fun. I know, I'm sure you guys probably don't watch it. It's like a Disney show and most people think it's really corny. Uh, sometimes it's really corny, but there are some things that are funny, so I do watch it every week. Plus, I'm going to be in an episode because I'm in the audience, so if you happen to see promos for an episode with this guy named Shane Harper and you have time to watch the episode, go watch the episode because you might see me in the audience or you might hear me laughing, so I'm pretty excited. The next item I have... It's actually two items, but they go together are these two books, and they're not just any books, they are signed. Right there, and right there. I got these books signed in seventh grade. Um, it was the first book signing I ever went to. I went with my best friend. It was for DJ Macau. However, the author was not there to talk about these books. He was there to talk about the Pendragon series, which my friend was a fan of. But DJ Macau is the creator of this TV show, Flight 29 Down, which these books are based off of. And I was literally obsessed with that show during the time that I went to that book signing. So it was really special for me. I sat through the Pendragon discussion not knowing what they were talking about, but then I got to meet him and I got to talk about my favorite TV show with the creator, which was really cool. Plus, this was the only time I've ever been to a book signing, so it was just a really fun experience. The last item I have is my guitar. This probably won't fit in frame, but that is my first guitar. It is the guitar I taught myself how to play on. It is the guitar that I've performed at every performance that I've had where I played guitar and it's just really it's it's like sentimental for me because this is gonna for always forever and always this is gonna be my first guitar and I could get a million other really pretty or really good guitars but this cheap thing well I'm sure it wasn't that cheap but I mean it's not anything special this is always going to be my first guitar and I don't know I think it's just a special thing I will probably never get rid of this Okay, so those were my five items. I hope this video wasn't too long. Um, on the subject of what we're going to do about punishments and rules and whatnot, um, obviously I definitely agree with the sh three strikes for missing a video because we are all high school students. 
Um, I think we should reset them at some point. Like, maybe when we start senior year, we can reset our strikes, or else we're going to have, like, three strikes for the rest of our lives, or however long we keep this channel. Also, for the time limit, um, I'm not, like, totally like, yeah, let's do a time limit, but I'm not against it either. I think if we do do a time limit, we should probably make it, like, maybe five minutes instead of four minutes, so there's still room for, like, it'll... It won't be obnoxiously long, but you can still put a lot of content in five minutes, so I don't know if you guys agree with that. And as far as other rules, I don't really know. Also, challenges. I'm all for doing challenges if you guys are, um, but at the same time, punishments are kind of the same thing as challenges, so I don't know. It's up to you guys. So yeah, this video is probably way too long. Alright, I'm going to end it now. Bye guys. Jake, I'll see you tomorrow, and everyone else, I will see you next Thursday.